Okay then, so in today's RetroBat setup guys, we're taking a close look at Sega Model 3. So this one's got some issues, but by the end of the video, we're going to sort you out playing some very awesome Sega Model 3 games, including this one that you can see right here, which is Daytona. So in this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you which file extensions you need and how we can actually bypass RetroBat to play Sega Model 3 games outside of RetroBat. So if you really fancy some awesome arcade action, check this one out. Okay then, first things first, before I start today's setup guides for Sega Model 3 through Retrobat, hit notification, subscribe and like if you like today's video, it will get you up to date retro emulation content as I upload it daily, plus it helps my channel out a great deal too. So we're looking at Sega Model 3 then today through Retrobat and this one is a little bit problematic for some people. So first of all, I'm going to suggest taking a look at this FNQ section in the Retrobat forum. I'll leave the link in my description. Uh, the problem is with this is that it's a resolution problem running through Retrobat. So if we take a look at the guidance, which uh, Lorenzo has pointed out here how to make this work correctly, uh, it's clearly an issue with the image being too large. So as he goes on the state, it may be because you use a 4K display. So my laptop is running at 1080p, just like most gaming laptops. And I've also tried this through my 4K TV as well by connecting my gaming laptop to the TV. It doesn't seem to matter which resolution this is running at. If you run this through Retrobat, you're not going to get a complete full great picture. Uh, you're going to get blurred picture and too large. So if we follow the advice then just here, it tells you everything we need to do. But having said this, it still doesn't work. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to set this up to begin with. So what we're going to do is go to the Retrobat shortcut, right click, open file location, and we're going to go to back GUI first, like I always suggest doing system list and if we drop down system just here and remember if you don't see this follow my fully comprehensive setup guide it's likely you haven't installed visual c plus plus and direct x so that's the one to check how to sort this issue out if that's what you're having so if we drop this down to model three and here we go. Uh, so the file extensions for this is .zip and there is no RetroArch Libretro core. So we actually need to download the emulator, which is Supermodel through Retrobat and that's it. So if we just come out of here, what we're gonna do then is just go down to ROMs within the Retrobat directory. And I've got Daytona just here. So I'm gonna drop these inside of Model 3. And here is model three. So I'm going to just drag those inside. So next up, what we're going to do is open up Retrobat itself. Okay, so you should have Model 3 appeared at this point. So if we just go inside of here, what we're going to do is start up a game and this is going to give us the opportunity to download the Supermodel emulator. So emulator Supermodel is not installed, install now, just press yes. Okay, so as you can see, that's the issue which myself and probably a lot of other people are actually facing with running Model 3 through Retrobat at the moment. So what we're going to do is take Lorenzo's advice here 
and we're going to do what it says through that information just there which uh, he shared a little while back so to do this we're going to go to retro bat directory so right click open file location and once we're in here we're going to go to emulators and inside of emulators we're now going to find inside of the supermodel folder what this is just downloaded and here we go so what we're going to do is take the guidance which Lorenzo has pointed out and we need to right click on supermodel.exe not the UI just this one just here so if we right click on this we're going to go to properties and we're going to go to compatibility and what we're going to do next then is just go down and change high DPI settings and we need to make sure that program DPI is checked as well as HDPI scaling override is checked. The reason these are greyed out for me is because I've actually done this through change settings for all users. So change high DPI settings. And if I OK this and apply, I'm going to do it exactly as uh, Lorenzo is pointed out. So just go down to change high DPI settings. And now this is no longer greyed out. So we're going to check program DPI and override high DPI scaling behavior and OK and apply and OK again. And what I'm going to do now then with these instructions is open up RetroBat again. And if I just open up model three again and open up the game, So as we can see, it's still playing up. It's got a really bad screen issue. So by going to view options by pressing select my controller, advanced system options, if we go to video, now literally I've configured video mode to pretty much every setting. Now normally with Retrobat, if you leave this to auto, your games work fine nothing happens with this and also messed around with force full screen i've put this to yes as you can see i've literally exhausted every option uh, also under drivers you're gonna find your inputs for your controls. so we've got sdl and x input now for me with my google stadia controller x input works fine so what we're going to do then is actually open this up next through the emulator itself which we downloaded but before I do this, what I'm going to do is show you the display resolution of my laptop. So if I right click and just go down to the display settings, we can see just here that my display resolution is running at 1920 by 1080p, which is recommended. So what I'm going to do then is open up RetroBat directory, open file location. And if I go down to emulators again, I'm going to just scroll down until I find Supermodel and here it is and if I open up the emulator so once we've opened up Sega Model 3 emulator this is what we're going to do we got resolution just here on the side and this one actually goes higher up than Retrobat so what I'm going to do is just go down to 1920 by 1200 if we go any higher in this your screen is going to be too big but obviously that depends on what sort of screen you're using but for me the best visuals I can get is 1920 by 1200 and I've selected full screen on this and also selected widescreen. Now if I open up my game outside of Retrobat,
as we can see, that's working absolutely perfect. Granted, the full screen is ever so slightly out as you're booting up the game, but as we know, doing this exactly how Lorenzo has mapped this out doesn't work. So my advice really for now is perhaps wait for the next version or beta version of Retrobat and hopefully this issue is going to get sorted. So it's one of those systems through Retrobat that I've never covered up until now because I've been trying over time to try and sort this problem out myself but it clearly, very clearly, can't be worked through Retrobat but just by using a standalone itself. So that's it for today's retro bat in model 3 mm, setup guide. I'm not sure if you call it a setup guide, but at least we found a very nice route, easy route to actually download the Supermodel emulator. So if you fancy playing some Supermodel games, uh, Sega Model 3 games, then that's a really good way to do it. But just remember that perhaps this doesn't work for me, but it might work for you, which Lorenzo has advised us to do. So anyways, if you're new to my channel, hit notification, subscribe and like if you like today's video so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also, be sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.